up YouTube? Oh, We're in Chicago. Oh. We are in Chicago. First time for both of us. First stop is the Starbucks rotisserie shit. Rotisserie? Sorry, I don't drink coffee. I'm not into Starbucks. It's called the roastery, not rotisserie. Starbucks <laughs> no roastery reserve. No chicken, apparently there's only <laughs> apparently there's only like four or five in the United States and it's a big deal for all these Starbucks drinkers. So we're gonna check that out. We're getting right into the action. We only have half a day here. So it's gonna be all action. As always, I'm Jago Gribben and this is Juicy J making her return. Let's go. We are from Los Angeles and we don't have these. We don't know what it is. Magnificent Mile. Interesting. Please drop in the comments if you know what this is. Here's the roastery. There's a lot of floors and there's a really long line. Oh boy. Wow, here it is. So why is this Starbucks so significant? One, it's the largest Starbucks in the world, which is crazy. Five floors. Two, the architectural design is supposed to be marvelous and magnificent. Three, unique offerings and different products. So that's why it's so awesome. Cookies! Wow, fancy stuff. Here's the first floor. Very busy. Little grab and go bar. Feel like I'm in Wonka's chocolate factory. Here's the second floor. Just more coffee and places to sit. The nice view. Wow, so crowded. So much going on. They got the live action bakery over here and you get your food over there. How nice. All right, on the third floor. Nice architecture. We're a long way down. And now we're in line to get a specialty drink. Cheesecake, cold malt brew. Toffee latte. Toffee latte. Hashtag Starbucks. It's a oh, coffee addict. Wow, it smells so good. Ooh, it tastes like coffee. Mm. Really yeah. good. It's good. The cheesecake was all right. The cold brew was good. How about, how was your latte? My latte was incredible. I never get lattes because they're full of milk, but it was sweet and Because salty. she likes to poop when she drinks oh. milk. That's called lactose intolerant. It is. I am also but lactose really intolerant. Good. All right, this is the fourth floor. It's the cocktail bar area. And it's interesting. Look at this tourist taking a picture of everything. <laughs> oh, fifth floor. Everyone loves a rooftop bar thing. Wow, wow, it's still going. Here's a little 360. Wow. Cool. It's a cool spot to get some sun. Cheers. All right, that was quite oh, the, that was quite the experience in the ro ro roastery. Um, I think I qualify that as a must do in Chicago, even though I don't like coffee or Starbucks. Now we're gonna head to the famous deep dish pizza place, where it's just all over called Lou uh, Martinelli's, Martinelli's, Lou Maltinani's, something like that. So we're gonna go walk over there, and then we're gonna go to the Bean. Making my way downtown in Chicago. Making my way downtown. It's so busy. So many people here. Yo, so the wait at Lou Malnati's was an hour half. We ain't got time for that. So I asked Chat another place on the way to the Bean, and he said Giordano's. Giordano's. So we're gonna try that one. Giordano. Giordano. Here we go. Oh boy, there's also 100 people waiting in line. So we got bar seating, and right in the, right in there, we're here. There's the menu. There's the famous deep dish. Finally sat down. 45 minutes to make the deep dish pizza. Better be good. 
better be good. Doesn't matter, we're starting. 45 minutes later. Oh. This is our first deep dish pizza ever. 28 years of life, never had a deep dish pizza. This is it. They say you're supposed to use a fork, like this. But I'm a tourist, and I'm gonna one speed it with my hand. Oh, it's hot, probably. Ooh. Mm. Interesting. I like it. A lot of, a lot of flavor. Cheese. Lots of flavor. Crust is good. This is how I eat my pizza anyway. I actually eat all the toppings off, so this is perfect for me. Giordano's was pretty, pretty good. First time with that pizza. I would get it again, I guess. What about you? I like the pie crust. Um, I like the extra cheese on it. I also didn't like the like the peppers were like raw in there. It's kind of weird. I don't know. It was fine. <laughs> we are now at Millennium Park. Nice fountain. I want to jump in. Uh, we're gonna check out the bean. I'm photo bombing this guy, but it's a nice park. I feel like I'm in Central Park. There are so many people here. Oh, what is that? We are approaching the bean with I, my I with my with my, with my fanny pack. Everyone keeps looking at my you fanny pack. just think the world rolls around. There. Everyone look. Oh my god. Oh, babe. That is unfortunate. Alright, the bean is world famous. But the thing right next to it, it looks like it needs some love. It looks pretty awesome. Pretty cool. Wow, pretty cool. Here it is. Finally made it here in my life. The bean. You've seen a million pictures online. Wow, there it is. It's big. It's shiny. It looks like a kidney bean. Here it is. There I am. There it is. Bang. Oh, a lot of people here. Oh, going under. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, it looks like it goes in. That's crazy. Okay, let's see why it's so popular. Wow, it's pretty cool. Hello. All right, here we are at the Bean, one of the most iconic spots in the world, I want to say. Um, it's super hot. It's super cool. Um, it's super hot. It's, it's super cool. It's it's cool to hit, and I guess I gotta wash my hands. But it's really funny. Like we didn't realize that we were traveling over like two of the busiest weekends in Milwaukee. It was the Wisconsin State Fair, and now Lollapalooza is happening yeah, in Chicago. Yeah, there's so many so people here. We're like, why are the hotel prices so expensive? And yeah, it's because it's totally packed from other things. But making the most of it. Fun to be in a busy city. It's very cool though. Uh, art wise, it's the reflection, and when you go under, it's super cool. I like it. I come back here again. I want to come back here again just to like look at all the different angles. But yeah, it's super cool. This is a really cool view. Really cool. Chicago! Chicago! Check out these buildings, yo. Very cool. Shibuya. Walking in New York. I can feel it coming, walking in New York, walking in New York. Totally different from the Milwaukee water. <laughs> All right, we took a quick nap. Now it's truly the windy city. It's hella windy. Oh, Juliana just left me. But here's our hotel. Overpriced, over $200 and it costs $50 to park, but that's just me complaining. But anyways, the point is, right across the street is a Chicago place called The Hat, and it's super windy, but they got, apparently they have a really good Chicago dog there, so we're gonna try a Chicago dog at The Hat, right across the street from our hotel. I'm in Chicago, our first Chicago dog. Big hot dog fan, I love the Costco hot dog. But this looks like a whole nother level. Pickle, grilled, tomato, onion, relish. I gotta take the pepperoncinis out though. Here we go, look at this pickle. Mm. The pickle is prominent, it's really good. This might be one of the best hot dogs I've ever had in my life. This is the real deal Holyfield. I'm giving it a five booms on the boom meter. No, don't. Boom, 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 boom. 
This is the real deal. This is really good. The pickle, tomato, relish, onion. Maybe. Absolutely destroyed. That hot dog was so good. One of the best hot dogs in my life. Now we're gonna head out to the timeout market, get some other food for dinner. We're on our way to the timeout market. Um, let me just say, this city has so many places to eat, many little hubs, but parking here is horrendous. Thankfully, we made a couple laps and found some street parking. Very inflated prices, as expected. But look, cool stuff. Yeah. Not too interested in any of these places. No, Jacob's not interested. He thinks the prices are too high for the portions of the food. So, it might be a tourist trap, so we're gonna look for something else. I don't think it's a tourist trap. I just think it's the Time Out magazine uh, website, so everything's elevated, you know? One of our last stops on our Chicago adventure is Navy Pier. $20 for parking. Looks fun. This was one of the most recommended things to do by chat. We live in Santa Monica, so let's see if it lives up to the hype. It's better than LA. It's getting dark. It's hard to see with the GoPro, so we're gonna retire the GoPro. We made it to the end of the pier. Nice views. We'll give our thoughts later. Oh, Sitting down at the end of Navy Pier. It's dark. Nice view. Interesting spot. Probably wouldn't come back. Maybe to try some of the restaurants. All right, Navy Pier wasn't the end of our adventure. We wanted some sweets. So we looked up a dessert place and we got Fire Cakes and Donuts. 2,000 reviews, 4.8 stars. Looks promising. Fire Cakes crafted ice cream. It's like afters in LA. Donuts, 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 donuts. And can I get this cherry? Glazed donut with strawberry ice cream and caramel on the side. One speed. Oh. Yummy. Way better than the donut I got. Ice cream, that's good. It tastes like strawberry yogurt. Like Yoplait? No, you don't agree. Whatever. Juicy bite, look at that. Lick your screen. Feel that. Mmm, look at that juicy ice cream straw bad. Solid, worth a try, but not mop certified. Okay, we're on to our next day of exploring. We're headed down to Indiana Dunes National Park to camp, but wanted to make a quick pit stop on the way. We stopped in Chinatown to go to a Chinese bakery, see if the coconut buns live up to the hype. Okay, got a pork bun, a taro bun, two red bean mooncakes, a sesame bowl, and taro and coconut pudding. What do you think? Very good. The Chicago adventure doesn't end. We came back, we're at Portillo's. This is an Italian beef, extra gravy. This thing is soaked. Oh, oh my gosh. Classic Chicago Italian beef. And then you got the Chicago dog. It's so colorful, it's beautiful. Mm. My favorite hot dog, Chicago dogs. I love the pickle. Mm. Mm. Wow, this is really good. Love the extra gravy. I can't imagine what the dip is like. It's probably dripping out the bottom. Chicago dogs, man. This is one of our last stops on our Chicago adventure. Definitely worth it. 10,000 reviews. Crazy, crazy busy. Awesome fast food place. Cool aesthetic. And quick service, too. We were here for like five minutes and we got served. Definitely worth it. All right, we got one more stop on our Chicago adventure. Then we're toast, kaput. Let's see, we're back to Milwaukee. Here we are, Juliana's pick, a Jewish deli to get a bagel. We're outside of the city, it looks cool.
Our last food adventure, we are at Kaufman's. Mm. It's okay, it doesn't look that good. First bite. Mm. Oh man. Don't put that on. Nova lox and bagel with veggie spread. I mean everything good. bagel. It's really good. Y'all call it fried, but it's really good. Oh look at that. That's a lot of smoked salmon. Jacob got the same thing, the Nova Lox. On a sesame. On a sesame bagel. Big, First bite. Big hater energy over here. There's a lot of vegetables, that's why. I'm not a vegetable dude. <laughs> Tastes like a garden. It's good. All right, we are at the Milwaukee airport, marking the end of our Chicago Milwaukee trip. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.